good morning, YouTubers. Got something super sick I'm going to show you guys today. So back here right behind me, there's a Dodge Ram. And it's not really about the Dodge Ram this video is in anyways. It's about not being able to get a bolt in there because it's kind of kitty wampus. And I'm going to show you what's going on and a way we can rectify it. In my situation, I could go through and loosen up all the bolts, but that wouldn't allow me to make this video because in some situations, you won't have that possibility to be able to get this bolt to start. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the truck and I'm gonna show you what we can do to rectify this. So right up in here, we have got a bolt that won't go all the way in. And I'm suspecting that either the bolt is cross-threaded or it's just kitty wampus off of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slit the bolt so it will drive down all the way. Ridiculous. Okay, so I've got my bolt in there and that's as far as it's gonna go. You can see it isn't going in there for crap. We need it to go down a lot further than that. We've got a couple options. The correct way to fix this is to retap this hole out because for whatever reason, it's cross-threaded inside there. But another way that you guys can do this at home without a large tap set and being able to tap out a large bolt is the way I'm about to show you right now. tight as can be comes out the other side like it should all right people not only fixing the problem but knowing what the problem was is a part of the solution all right so in this situation we can look and we can see that on the outside edges of there clean metal whereas in the rest of the metal is dirty right around there so we know that the differential was off just to kitty wampus, just a hair. Now we could have went through and loosened up the bolts, but then that wouldn't have allowed me to make the video to show you the split in there. Not only finding the problem is part of the solution. What was the problem to begin with? If you have a bad alternator, did the voltage regulator go out? Did the bearings go out? That'll help you with solutions in the future on future problems. So I always, always recommend finding what the problem was to begin with before you even try to fix it. So please share this video. God bless. Remember, don't be the next of them. Be the first of you. And if anyone else can do it, you can do it too.